Hi Cancer, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-month money and career tarot reading for the month of February 2022, so mid-February if you will, as I struggle to speak. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and I want to remind you that this is general, so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. But as well, I want to thank you in advance for your support on this channel in the form of likes for this video, this reading, uh, comments down below, whatever you want to share. Um, if you don't know what to say, some emojis, and, uh, and as well, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Join this Cancerian tribe. And to book a personal reading with myself, the options are down below. Just reach out via email real quick, and I'll get that started for you. The overall message I channeled for you, received uh, for your money and career for the mid-month um, period, weird wording, for mid-February, Manifesting tons of abundance. Manifesting tons of abundance, all right? We're going to begin, I'm going to put this to the side, by pulling a message or two from the Soul's Journey deck, all right? I'm hearing when you stumble on your words from time to time in the second half of the month, just roll with it, roll with it, or just laugh it off. That's always my advice. But spirit saying more so, just roll with it. For my lovely cancers to begin, trust. I need to trust that you're on the right path. I need to trust that you're making the right choice by leaving a job or redirecting yourself or trusting in spirit, in the universe, in where you're meant to go, what you're meant to achieve. Even trusting um, in the connections that you're being pushed towards. There's a level of honesty taking place in the second half of the month, but as well, there's a little bit of loneliness. It could be more so um, being distant from certain people, or it could be in certain uh, career ventures, if that makes sense. It could be you, um, you find that you have to make certain financial choices on your own, but there's a need to be very honest with oneself as to where you want to go within your career, what you want to actually achieve moving forward. What's going to make you feel fulfilled while, of course, bringing in the money and um, uh, fulfilling certain obligations? Does that make sense? Uh, being really realistic, realistic with oneself. There's the stumbling on your words. Um, but also, it feels like you're going to be very honest with other people, potentially through your work. Okay. So we're going to continue and pull the main part of the reading from the Light Series deck. Trust in your manifestation skills as the wheel turns for you, as you see a lot of abundance flow in, and people recognize you as a very hardworking individual who is more emotionally stable than you're given credit for a lot of the times. Okay. For my lovely Cancers to continue this money career read. We have two. Uh, there's a little bit of an uneasy feeling at certain points or throughout the entire second half of the month for a lot of you Cancers. But it's this realization or a reminder from Spirit and Universe that you're one uh, strong individual, that the possibilities are endless for you at this time. If you're moving from one career opportunity to the next, it's going to open up the, the gates as they're putting it, um, allowing the abundance to flow in, allowing for the space and the room for new opportunities. Um, it feels as if you're also making room for other priorities uh, that are about to move up in the ranks. This is the, uh, I want to say the weirdest wording as far as this reading goes, but we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's an emotional fresh start um, for some of you times three moving forward, and it just feels like part of which is having to do with uh, your career, needing to be honest with oneself. Um, if you're overworked, right, or if you are actually fulfilled with where you're moving within your career. But it feels like either way, regardless of what you decide to wrap yourself up with in the second half of the month and moving forward, as far as work goes, as far as um, obligations and how you make your money, you're going to feel very abundant, okay? It's just a matter of, again, being honest and asking yourself, do I really like what I do? Do I love what I do? Is that important to you? It should be. Okay, um, it may feel like you're being pushed to accept a pep talk from 
a specific somebody or multiple people or potentially through um, sources like uh, these tarot readings, accepting universal guidance or spiritual guidance. But it feels like you're being pushed to accept that doing things cancer's way will lead you to more abundance, more opportunities, more success, more money, allowing for yourself to go with the flow, remembering you're a water sign, okay? But there's a wish fulfillment in the second half of the month that leaves you feeling so damn fulfilled, amazing. Uh, viewing yourself as more successful than you have been recently. You're going to find that there's something that changes or a change that's on the horizon that you know intuitively or just are, uh, maybe initiated is going to leave you jumping out of bed in the morning wanting to achieve more. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, just making sure the microphone's on. Um, double check if need be is what's coming through. Double check. Don't be afraid to um, triple check. Okay. But I feel like, again, the abundance is necessary for you in order to remind you of what you're capable of. But in, as well, the second card that came out is the Page of Wands in Reverse. Ooh, as I get a little bit nervous, you're going to find that a change or an adjustment, even if it's just within oneself, you know, your mental uh, approach, your thought process or certain habits, um, or knowing a big change lies ahead, right? The release of a uh, career opportunity or a financial investment or both, knowing that that's going to leave you feeling um, less uh, anxious, okay? It may make you feel a little bit less abundant right at first but knowing that everything happens for a reason and it's all for the greater good of your situation, the better of your situation, your future. Um, it feels like you're very much thinking about other people as well, but it feels like this passionate fresh start that you desire with the page of wands in reverse is not here yet, right? It's not here in the second half of the month, but you can prep for it. Even if that's again, a mental, emotional uh, preparation um, within oneself, it feels like you know that soon enough you'll be throwing something up in the air. Um, and it could be multiple situations, once again, including habits. And moving towards the fresh, the new, something bigger and better. Going back to the overall message, you're manifesting tons of abundance. Tons of it, okay? And so that should help you remember to make the best um, out of where you're at. I feel the need to shuffle again. You're very much overworked or just overthinking as the abundance is pouring out of your individual Cancerian water sign cup. Okay, very interesting. Um, own who you are. Be confident in everything you do, everything you say, everything you um, produce. You're going to find that confidence is your key moving forward, especially in March. I know this is for the second half of February, but it feels like in the midst of you researching, learning, um, about new opportunities, about the future, about potential travel plans, you know, that entails either you moving around for work or, again, spending money, not again, but spending money to travel, okay? Learning more about other people's skill sets and therefore wanting to invest in them or wanting to enhance your own skill sets, your own knowledge base or bank, however you want to put it. It just feels like in the middle of the second half of the month, a beautiful idea, um, a creative idea comes to be, if not three, four, or five ideas, and you may need to write them down because I feel like your memory isn't the best at this point as you're very much prioritizing reaching for your independence with the Nine of Pentacles, reaching for that independence and feeling inspired by uh, one other person or multiple other people all the meanwhile. and. Therefore, reminding oneself through it all, through your work, through the making of money as that flows in nicely um, in a successful way, you are inspiring others in your own individual way, okay? People realizing that you can reach for the stars and succeed, that you can change it up completely with the Hierophant, uh, adjust your path or follow the guidance of spirit in the universe by rerouting oneself. And all the meanwhile, that can definitely lead you towards more abundance and success. That staying where you're at isn't always the answer. And if it's about sort of making the best out of where you're at, um, knowing it's not going to change because it is for a select few of you, then so be it. There's something you change up within that situation or, again, internally, and therefore the abundance starts to flow in. 
you're going to be in the spotlight to a certain extent. People are going to notice you. People are going to have a lot of opinions. Um, you could be working or living in a very noisy environment or both. Um, I'm hearing if they're intertwined, um, hold on to your hat, okay? Um, you're going to see a lot of synchronicities, messages to remind you that you're spiritually guided, that that's going to be heightened moving forward. It's going to increase. Um, 10, 11, look up that uh, angel number meaning is a message for you. You're going to find that you're wanting to be secretive um, about where you're moving, where you're heading. With the world cards, you're reminded your world's changing. There's going to be parts of the second half of the month, especially towards the end, where you recognize um, a lot easier what helps you elevate, what helps you maintain or bring back that high vibration, and how that effectively allows you to um, produce quality work enjoy what you're doing, even if you don't love your job or the business you're running or the people you work with. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, remembering that that high vibration, that way of being, glowing, viewing things in a colorful way makes a huge difference. And therefore, you're going to make even more money, okay? You're going to make a difference if that is how you look to uh, move forward with your career. Two of Swords. Um, I'm hearing you're going to want to make more of a difference moving forward if that hasn't been the case, or just in general. You'll feel a bit confused at certain points as to where your career is going. The um, fear of not having the stability you desire, don't fret, all right? That's why so much abundance is flowing in. To keep you on track with certain changes, developments, and not to settle for less, as people are going to notice those changes, all right? People are going to notice you. As a very talented, abundant individual, you're going to want to take care of people. Do so. When somebody wants to take care of you, let them. All right? The money's going to flow in. There's gifts of abundance flowing back and forth between you and other people. It's a beautiful uh, balancing effect that reminds you that you deserve to be wrapped up with all forms of abundance. And remember, that's not just money. Okay? The opportunities are flowing to you effortlessly. As you're pushed with the lover's card to love your career, your money intake, and where you invest your money, deserving a cultured, traveled life and lifestyle, as you'll find that the end of the month especially, a lot of communication in general, but the end of the month, things start to pick up for you, as March will be a very, very busy month for you in general. Again, embrace change and allow yourself to remember that your mind is your best tool, all right, as well as your emotions side by side. And remember, you're manifesting tons and tons of abundance, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing second half of the month. Sending you so much love and light, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Cancer.